Thank you. It's 6.03. First on four, Metro is making final preparations to change the way it operates its trains. Wow. News 4 has learned a board presentation is on the agenda for this week that will switch trains back to a computer-controlled automatic mode. Yeah, that's something that hasn't happened since that deadly red line crash in 2009. Transportation reporter Adam Tuss is breaking it all down for us this morning. Metro was designed to operate in automatic mode and is currently only one of a handful of large transit systems that isn't automated. Right now, train operators control the movement themselves. And Metro says ATO should improve everything from on-time performance to wear and tear on trains, even energy consumption, because it'll ensure a much smoother ride. It's like, you know, slamming on the gas in your car is not the preferred way to accelerate, you know, nor slamming the brake, right? It's a similar logic when you're running automatic. Two clicks forward. To prove why automation is preferred, Metro put us in these train simulators. So the train is doing everything right now. I'm just watching, observing, making sure everything's okay on the tracks. Yeah. So really, the train operator just becomes like a big observer. Yes. In a, in a sense. Now, Metro hasn't operated in the automatic train operation mode since the deadly 2009 red line crash. In that case, a perfect storm of events told the striking train that the tracks ahead were clear when in reality, there was a train stopped ahead. It was a failure of the system. So what's different now? We verified with our manufacturers that this equipment in these conditions is safe. Metro understands it'll need to convince everyone that this new system is safe. The plan is to have the red line switch to automatic train operation by summer and the entire system by the end of the year. The Metro board will hear the full plan this Thursday. Along the Metro system, Adam Tuss, News 4.